The automatic pistol, or more accurately the self-loading pistol, could not come about until the invention of cartridge ammunition. After Maxim demonstrated how the gas from a spent cartridge could be channeled to actuate a mechanism or recoil used to supply mechanical power to cycle a mechanism, it was no mean feat to apply these principles to handguns. The automatic pistol that relied on cased ammunition would also suffer from inconsistent or irregular ammunition, not only in size and shape, but propellant type and load. Manufacturing of high-quality parts for pistols was also a concern, and both early gun and ammunition were unreliable. The first use of spent gas to actuate the hammer of a revolver and in turn rotate and align the cylinders came about as early as 1885 in England and 1863 in Spain. Except for the Webley Fosbury automatic revolver, few attempts at automating revolvers were successful. Engineers turned to a new design method utilizing a bolt action, then popular with military rifles. Early self-loading models included the Mauser and Riger repeaters. The Riger repeating pistol required the user to insert an index finger into a ring attachment placed where the trigger would normally reside. Then, with manual action, push the ring forward to open the bolt and a pulling action to move the bolt forward, taking a fresh round from a magazine and closing the bolt with the round fully seated in the breech. Then a firing pin strikes the round, discharging the weapon. A very complex mechanical action that, when the gun was dirty or dry, required a lot of effort to operate. But it was this type of design that moved forward. The Schoenberger pistol had the ammunition modified, so after firing, the primer cap was forced back so as to unlock the breech, and the remaining recoil energy forced the cartridge back and opened the bolt. Because of the need for specialized ammunition, this method soon fell by the wayside. The Borchardt was the first real automatic pistol available commercially and the first to use a box magazine. It was recoil operated with a locking bolt similar to what Maxim used on his weapons. Developed and patented by Hugo Borchardt in 1893, whilst living in Connecticut in the United States, he couldn't find financial backing, and so moved back to his native country of Germany, where his design was manufactured in Berlin by the Ludwig Löwe Company. The Luger, a refinement of the Borchardt mechanism, became a very successful design with several variants. The most common model was the 08 version with the standard short 10 cm barrel, the naval model 14 cm barrel, and the artillery 19 cm barrel. The Luger artillery version with adjustable sights also came with a large capacity snail drum magazine and attachable butt stock. Peter Paul Mauser was a brilliant gun designer who produced many significant firearms. There is some dispute as to the true origins of the Mauser automatic pistol. Some say it was the factory superintendent, a man by the name of Federley, who was responsible. However, the design was completed in 1893 and put into production in 1896. The Mauser became known as the broom handle and was one of the most successful automatics. With a caliber of 7.63 millimeters, it was distinguished by the box magazine holding 10 rounds placed before the trigger. Eventually made in several calibers, the original version failed to find military service until World War I, when the gun was made in the smaller 9 millimeter caliber for the German army. After the war, restrictions on arms manufacturing hindered further development until permitted to manufacture a new short barrel version for the Russians. This model was referred to as the Bolo, 